in my book Choco, I was thinking about, well, why do black men commit certain kinds of crimes disproportionately? That's the question a lot of people ask. What I found is that white men actually commit more violent crime than black men. Black men do commit certain kinds of street crime disproportionately. But here's the thing. If you look at the conditions that make people at risk for committing crime, like growing up in a high poverty neighborhood, about not finishing high school, about growing up in a home that just has um, one parent, those factors actually turn out to be better predictors for white men to commit crime than black men. It's just that because more black men are subject to those conditions, uh, that there is a risk for black men. But if you just compare white men and black men and those factors, we learn that there's actually something that's redemptive about black masculinity. It prevents us from committing crimes when white men in the same situation actually would. So when a lot of people ask, well, why do black men commit so much crime, the better question is, why don't more black men commit crime? Because if white guys were subject to that, again, the evidence is that they would. So often we look at black men, black masculinity, through what's called a damaged lens. What's wrong with those brothers? That's exactly the wrong question. What we ought to be thinking is, what is it about black masculinity that provides those brothers with the strength uh, to maintain the vast majority of African American men um, have not committed any kind of violent crime? What is it about our culture that allows us to survive? when the law, the police, the prosecutors are out to get us. Again, I think that there's something that's very powerful about black masculinity. So we shouldn't denigrate it. Uh, we should champion it. Now, it doesn't mean that everything that every brother does is cool. And it certainly doesn't mean that sisters and African-American women are in any way uh, doing better than we are. They're not. The sisters are doing just as poorly as African-American men, and a lot of us don't know that. But at the end of the day, it's not about a race to the bottom. It's not about who's worse off, black women or black men. It's about understanding the force of white supremacy, because until we understand how it works, how it impacts both sisters and brothers, until we understand that, we're never going to be able to defeat it.